This is a very different uh, background to what you guys are used to here on my channel. But today what we're going to do is reorganize all of my makeup drawers because I recently got some new makeup. Uh, well, I got some new furniture, I should say, to store my makeup in. And I want to like properly organize it exactly how I want it and all of that jazz. So yeah, you're going to reorganize the makeup with me, see my collection and hopefully enjoy the video. So before we go ahead and get started, let's go ahead and do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. So I've got my camera all set up to like do my drawers and everything and then realized that I hadn't showed you guys anything. So if the sound sounds really weird and the quality is not as good, bear with me because I'm filming this on my phone. But essentially this is the desk that I film at. That's my mirror. Normally my camera goes here. I'll do like a YouTube, like how I film my YouTube videos and everything video after this one. I just need to get things organized. This is pretty much all my makeup. <laughs> I know, I know. It's not all of it. It's not my eyeshadow palettes, it's not my lip liners, it's not my eyeliners, and there's a couple of products in that top drawer there as well, but this is the majority of my makeup. And this is the setup. So let me move. These are the drawers. I got them from Ikea. They're the Malm, M-A-L-M drawers, the six drawers. They're the joint together ones. These are huge. If you have a big makeup collection that you want to store and you want something that you can like make look pretty in the room, I recommend these, which I know people always bag out the Ikea furniture. I personally find the Ikea furniture brilliant because one, I like that it's white and clean, but two, I find just it's kind of a good setup for makeup. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Anyway, so these are the drawers and then I have this Alex drawer thing here, which is the nine drawer. And then I have the five drawer as well. But since I got this, I got this nine drawer first before I got this six drawer. I used to have this crappy thing, which you may or may not remember from my older videos. Um, I should have just got this one first because all of my makeup fits in here in and I still have like a drawer completely free. So I don't even need to use this yet. I can like, I mean, I've got things that I can put in there like technology stuff, hair stuff, all that jazz. So we're going to organize everything mainly in here because I'll explain why, but I like setting the makeup up in here predominantly. And then, um, I have kind of like some tray things that I've got from like Target that I'm using, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, we're going to organize literally all of this. Let's go ahead and start organizing we're going to start off with foundations primers concealers first so we're going to start out with this drawer right here which again if the audio sounds weird it's just because my microphone is facing down here so hopefully you can get that like asmr kind of thing <laughs> but we're going to start off with this one we're going to start off with foundation concealer and primer and i did get this like sticky stuff to pop on the bottom here so that one it protects the drawer but two so that it stops stuff from rolling so i'm also going to pop this down i just got this from kmart by the way in australia so that's going to stop things slipping and sliding around now oh i don't even know how i want to do this you guys because my makeup is just, my makeup collection is just so large. Um, I'm going to start with this one. I'm just going to pop this in. This is my concealer tray. And that's going to go in there. We'll organize that in a second. But I know that I want that in there. So we're just going to pop that in. Storing my actual foundations is kind of what I am confused about. Because currently I have... Let me show you. Currently I have this little spice rack that I have like my favorite ones laying on, but it doesn't hold all of them and it takes up a lot of room for it to not hold all of them. Although I am going to declutter a couple of these. So let's pop this in. This is dangerous. Here we go. <laughs> I am actually going to declutter this Rare Beauty one. I said a couple of them. I'm just going to get rid of this. I used it in a video the other day and I was just like, I hate this. Why am I still keeping this? So, 
But, you know, I keep growing this collection. Um, I also have, like, this airbrush one from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm just going to pop that there. I don't actually like this, but I keep it around because I want to do, like, if I want to do, like, a full face of Charlotte Tilbury video or something. I know she has a newer foundation that's better, but I, um... That one doesn't work for me because it has coconut in it. Then I have this tray of foundation and this tray of primers, which is what I'm like, oh, what do I do with? I kind of wanted to put one of these in here, but I don't know. Yeah, see, it's just, it's too wide. Ugh. But what if I was to put foundation in here? But should we try that? I just like that these are laid out and so easy to see. But then everything else gets so squished together. Let me just do the other tray and see what I think. Okay, I think we actually had a lot of success. So I managed to fit a lot more. So I used one of these trays that I got from Target and I put, so these foundations in this back row are kind of like foundations. I don't super love, but well, actually no, I love the pure one um, and I love this one. So I don't know. They're kind of either, I really love them and they're just not like, favorites of this. This row is like some of my favorites right now, right? And then this is like the second class, but not dramatically. <laughs> if they were that bad, I'd get rid of them. Aside from this one, I do want to get rid of this one, uh, but I keep it around for reasons, you know. Anyway, then I've got uh, my tinted moisturizers here, my KVD Good Apple Foundation. I hate these foundations that come in this packaging. I've got my Cloud um, Cushion Foundation from Emma Cosmetics, my Wayne Goss foundation, which has really grown on me, but is way too dark for me. So I really want to get shade 10 in it. My Danessa Myricks Yummy Balm. And then I've got all my favorite primers here. So I actually think I'm going to move these. I did have these ones down the front. This is my RCMA palette, which do I want to keep there? No. I'm going to pop that in there for now. I'm just going to pop these. So I've got like a rip, an extra KVD Good Apple and another M Cosmetics Cushion Foundation. It just came with a refill, so I've got them down there. I'm going to put this RCMA palette in this whole thing here. So then in this front part here, I've got all my favourite primers. So I've got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, the Hourglass Vanish um, Primer, the Fenty Beauty Easy Droplets, the Refi Primer, the Victoria Beckham Primer, the Rose Ink Primer, Cover Effects Gripping Primer, and then my two Blur, 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 Blur Print. Blur, Pore Blurring is what I'm trying to spit out. So the Blur Jam from Huda and the Heart Smoothing one. And they kind of all fit in here. I really like this. Uh, maybe I'll have to change this up if I grow too much more, but we'll address that when we, can, when we need to. I don't know if you can see, but over here I've just got everything I couldn't fit. So my Fenty Beauty body cream, other primers that I don't use a whole lot because I don't know why. And my RCMA palette, some skincare. And then back over here, we have, uh, this was getting too cluttered. 
and I didn't like it. So now by be, by putting all of these in here, I have the room to create just a color corrector little tub. So these are all of my color correctors and then these are all my concealers that I've organized into like little squares and I have like room to grow, which is awesome. So foundation, primer and concealer drawer. Donsky. Now we're going to go ahead and do this drawer, which I think I'm going to make powder, bronzer, and setting spray. Yes, I think I'm going to do that because I, yeah, anyway, let's just see what happens, shall we? Okay, so I think I've got this drawer like done. So this right here, I've managed to fit all of my bronzers, like pretty much all of them. So back here in this tray is just bigger bronzers that you, um, that I can't fit. So like that I'd also don't use a lot. So like my Jaclyn Hill bronzer and blush duo. I've got a couple of drugstore bronzers, my Fenty bronzer back there, which I should probably put the Fenty bronzer in here. I feel like maybe it can fit. Yeah. We'll just pop it in like that. Um, so, and then in here I've got like my one size bronzer, my Patrick Ta bronzer, my Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer, my Chanel Le Beige's cream bronzer, my Vive face palette, my Charlotte Tilbury powder bronzer, my Victoria Beckham bronzer, which I might actually move standing up back there. I might actually move, I've got my Hourglass face palette right here. I might actually move that in here now because that should fit. There we go. And then, uh, my Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick, my Makeup by Mario Bronzer Stick, my NARS Bronzer, my Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer, which is really a cream bronzer. Then I've got two Makeup by Mario bronzers. This one's the Perfecta. This one's his bronzer, Dior bronzer, Golan, Gucci powder bronzer. These are all powder. Fenty powder bronzer, Nabla, Huda Glowish, Ilia, and House Labs. If you saw my House Lab first impressions, House Labs replaced the bronzer, which is exciting because it's shattered. And then I have these three like cream contours. One's Charlotte Tilbury and the other two are MCO Beauty. They're like beauty ones. Then I have my powders. So this is my House Labs powder. I've been loving it. Westman Atelier Pink Bubble. Um, Pat McGrath Labs. This is in the shade medium. I used my light one. So I just use this on my face when I've got a tan. My Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. My Vive Modern Perfecta. Look how much of this I've already used. Sephora Micro Smooth Blurring Powder. This Charlotte Tilbury. I hate this so much. But I spent all that money on it, so I'm going to try and use it. I'm a Beauty. That's also one of my faves. Danessa Myricks. Uh, this one's pretty good. It reminds me of the Oma Beauty. The Givenchy Prisme Libre, which I don't know if I fully get the hype of this, but okay. The Item Beauty Powder, a travel size Laura Mercier, Wayne Goss, which I also kind of can't make work for me, unfortunately. Laura Mercier. And then we have this Huda Glowish that I stubbornly keep. 
that I should really, really let go of because I just, I see so many people loving this and it just looks like such a tin man on me. Like it's like a proper highlighter. I can't figure out a way to make this work for me, but I stubbornly keep it and I just, I, should I declutter this actually while we're here? Yeah, I just, I, I'm not good. I've been trying so hard to make this work for me and I can't, so I'm just gonna declutter it. And then that way I can move this one to here. So uh, this is my one size foundation powder in light. I have my two MAC Studio Fix foundations, one in NC25, one in NW20. NC25 is my all over color and then NW20 is my T-zone color. Say Air Set Powder, the e.l.f. Halo Glow Powder, my two absolutely adored um, Kosas Cloud Set Powders. That one's breezy, this one's airy. Uh, yeah, and then just my setting sprays, which is like a MAC Fix Plus. Two Charlotte Tilbury's, two of the Benefit Four Fashionals, and this Tarja Satin Skin Mist. These two right here are nearly finished, so they'll be, they'll be done soon. So... I like to put my makeup in kind of like order of how I'm going to do it. Um, and so what I would normally do when I pick out my makeup is pick a primer, pick a foundation, pick a corrector, pick a concealer, and then I pick a cream bronzer. And while I'm there, I'll pick a powder bronzer, pick my powder for the day and my setting spray. And then now we're going to go over to the other side of these drawers and do blush and highlight collection. successfully done my blush and highlight drawer, which I'm very happy with. So in this little tray thing right here, I've got my one size like cheek clappers. So I've got like Freaky Peach, Freaky Peach and She's That Girl. I've got my Patrick Ta, She's That Girl. I don't think that's, I think it's She's All That maybe, I don't know. I've got my four Makeup by Mario cream blushes. Hopefully you guys can see, let me. Uh, I've got my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk palette, my three Victoria Beckham cream blushes, my two Say Beauty cream blushes, my Red Beauty cream blush, my LYS or List um, cream blush, my Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint cream blush, my two Lisa Aldridge uh, cream highlighters my Rare Beauty Liquid Highlighter, my Say Beauty Liquid Highlighter. I've got a Melt Cosmetics Cream Blush in, I think this is Cali Dream, yeah. And then a Rose Ink Ophelia Cream Blush and a Tower 28 
Magic Hour cream blush, which honestly doesn't get enough love because it's beautiful. And then also the Natasha Denona My Dream Cheek Trio, which is surprisingly brilliant, I'm not going to lie. My Huda Beauty Nymph Glaze, which you know is like one of my all-time faves. My M Cosmetics uh, Aura Moonbeam Cushion Highlighter, which I need to focus on because honestly this doesn't have a lot of product left. Then in here I have my Vive Skin Do, which is my fave. Uh, the Victoria Beckham Cream Highlighter, which I don't think you guys have even really seen on my channel yet, but I am going to do a Victoria Beckham Deep Dive. I keep saying that. I know I will get around to filming it. I might actually pop that there. Then these are a heap of like cream blushes and highlighters. So I have a cream blush from Ellis Fast. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Spotlight Wand, which is amazing. I have two um, MCO Beauty like blushes, Pink Glow and Peach Glow, which are incredible. They're exactly the same as the Charlotte Tilbury ones. Laura Mercier Cream Blush in Southbound, which I know a lot of people don't like. I love it. And then a Champagne Glow Highlight and Glow one, which is the really cheap dupe of uh, the Charlotte Tilbury wand. And again, it's, it's truly brilliant. On this side, I have the Patrick Ta Blush Holiday Palette from last year. I didn't really get a lot of use out of this, which is disappointing, but I also don't want to get rid of it. Okay. I had my iron transfusion this week, you guys, and I'm in those couple of days after it where you feel a bit cruddy. So if I seem a bit off, that's why. This is where I'm keeping powder blushes. I don't super love this setup. I would rather them like this, but for the sake of sp saving space uh, and what I can fit in one of these, I'm going to keep it in here. So I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, Dior um, Delicate Matte, Cover FX Peach Duo. I love that blush. I love these. I don't know why people still don't have to these. I love these. I have all of the Kaleidos blushes because I was incredibly lucky to be sent them in PR and I love them. M Cosmetics Magic Hour. I want to pick up another one of these uh, like in a different shade and I want to pick up their cream contour blushes. Uh, these are my Pat McGrath Labs blushes and I organize them in order of the way that I use them. I love every single shade that I own but I have ones that I use like the most so I order them like that. So this is Venetian Sunrise. Electric Bloom, Flirtatious, Paradise Glow, and Desert Orchid. I have Bare, Mineral, Bare Minerals Bronzer in Kiss of Pink, two Mario blushes which I think are incredibly underrated. So this one is Desert Rose and this one is Creamy Peach. My beloved Gucci bronzer in tender apricot, and I said bronzer in my blush. Huda Glowish blush in caring coral. Cotton Beauty in its verified, and my Bare Minerals bronzer in Kiss of Copper, which I adore. So I love my powder blush collection so much. Then over here I have all my powder highlights. I have Mario Pearl. Ray Rider from Kaleidos, my beautiful Hermes, Tom Ford Reflex Guilt, House Labs uh, Sunstone, which has become an instant fave, Pat McGrath Golden Nectar, which you can't get Golden Nectar, I don't think, anymore, and I don't know why, because this is hands down the best shade. Also this one, Divine Rose, I adore this. Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. This is just like a cult classic. I feel like you have to own that. Laura Mercier Light Catcher Powder in Celestial Light. Everyone hates this, but this is a highlight. It's one of the best products around. Fenty Beauty How Many Carrots. That seriously needs to be decluttered, but I just can't. It's too pretty. I never use it though. Dior Backstage Highlighter. This is the original one. I don't really use it a whole lot, but I do like it. Mario Opal. This is just too icy. I will eventually declutter this, but I'm going to do a Mario brand review. Maybe before my free time. <laughs> Dior Pink Glow. 
I don't super love it. I find Dior overrated. It's just not one of those brands I kind of, I like Dior. I like the products they put out, but they don't work really well for me on my skin. Like I know Britt Clark, she, every Dior product she touches like works wonderfully for her. Whereas I feel like Tom Ford's like that for me. Uh, and like say Pat McGrath Labs, but like I find Dior products very rarely work for me. This LYS highlighter is gorgeous. Stunning. The Laura Mercier Rose Glow, which you can now actually get. And this is, I really like this. It's very subtle and pretty. Becca Cosmetics highlighter in Champagne Pop, which I'm pretty sure you can still get with uh, Smashbox. And then I have these two Kaleidos ones. One's in Prophecy. I mean, oh, shut the front door. And this one is in Gifted, and honestly, I just, like, look at them. I just love them. They're so cool. I really like Kaleidos. So we successfully did blush and highlighters. So cream blush, cream highlight, powder blush, and powder highlights. I feel like this is pretty good. So over here is an empty drawer for now. Um, and what I'm actually just going to put in here to begin with, I have this six square thing of like cream. Um, I'm not going to put a rubber thing in here because this won't move around. So what we have here is I have three full size mascaras that I haven't used yet. So the Cali Ray, the Lancome Lashy Doll and the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic. I might actually give this L'Oreal one to my mum. She loves them just because I have so many. And then I also have a backup of my Pat McGrath Labs Intensify Stick because I'm just obsessed with these. And then I have all these mini mascaras. So I have a mini... Oh, are these going to focus? Yeah. I have a mini lash snack from Item Beauty, a mini lights camera lashes from Tarte, a mini milk kush a mini say and a mini bad gal bang. I got like a heap of mini mascara sets in the US when I went over because I wanted to test the formulas. So that's why I have so many of these. And I have like a full gimme brow and this Bare Minerals Strength and Length Serum. Um, so I'm actually gonna move these to my brow drawer or like my everyday brows, which I'll show you guys later. Oh, I have this one too. Uh, this is like a NYX control freak. I might move that over too. I have all these like brow pencils and pens. This like one is pretty much empty. I'm just going to put that in my everyday drawer to use up. And then these are all ones that I literally have not touched. I'm gonna actually move this to my everyday drawer because that's a brow pop from Benefit. Um, so these are just like literally waiting for me to use the ones that I'm currently using. So Benefit sends me PR sometimes. Which I'm really blessed about. I'm gonna stay zoomed in because the camera will focus more and I wanna show you guys what's what's in here a little bit more. So I have these two brow powders, which I just keep because sometimes I just go through brow powder phases. So I have like an ABH one and a Sigma Beauty one and they're different tones, so that's why I keep both. And then I also have a brow pomade from Benefit, which I just keep because it's really new and like sometimes I get in the mood for it. Okay, let's move on to cream shadows and stuff. So this is the Mario Bronzite, which went so viral on TikTok and I just can't quite figure out why. Like it's pretty, but I don't know. Anyway, so that's gonna go there. I have this Laura Mercier like cream shadow that I got in a gift set from Sephora, which is really pretty. So let's put you there for now. What I, I'm, it's these Ella's fast sticks. They're so hard to organize, but they're also the absolute best. So this is E106, which is like the best everyday cream shadow. It's like the perfect kind of brown. It's probably not even focusing because it's annoying. There we go. And then I have E302, which is like a liquid fire opal, the yeah, fire opal, look at that, amazing. I have a Vive uh, crayon, eye crayon in silver mink. 
super pretty. And then I picked up these two Mecca Max cream shadow sticks. Uh, Mecca Max is like the Sephora, so Me is like the Sephora brand of Mecca, right? Me we have Mecca Beauty, and then this is their brand. It's pretty affordable. I'm just waiting for this to. There we go. So I picked up this one. Isn't that gorgeous? This is the shade. Great question. No idea. Dusty Rose. And then there's this one, which is matte taupe. And I love them. They're so beautiful. This is really good. Honestly, I kind of want a few more of these shades. I think they're like $14 or $17 each. Really, really cheap. Then I have these three Lisa Aldridge liquid shadows, which I have a whole review on. I have Anne, Daphne, and Zora, and they're incredible. Like, incredible. These are my favorite, I think, liquid eyeshadows. They're amazing. I definitely want more shades. This is my Tom Ford Golden Peach. I'm pretty sure I did, like, a get ready with me using this. It's stunning. I love it. I want the bronze one, too. I have these two RMS Beauty ones. Um, one is Blaze, which I super duper love. And they get a little messy if you squeeze the tube, so just be careful. And then the other is Strobe, which I also super duper love. I actually really like these. They don't crease and they're really good one and done cream shadows. So they kind of mushed in there, but yeah, they're amazing. I need a tissue. <laughs> then I have my two Victoria Beckham cream shadows, which I have Mink and Starlight. I should have, I thought I'd picked up Honey, which is the one that I really, really want. I mean, I really wanted Mink as well, but I, Mink is the original one picked up. I picked up and then I picked up Starlight, but I picked up Starlight because I thought I'd picked up Honey and I did not. Um, and Starlight's just a little bit too gold for me. I thought it was, it also looks a bit different on the website. Anyway, it's pretty. I will wear it, but um, I wish I picked up honey. So, and I just, I have too many cream shadows now. I really don't need any more for a while. Um, so I got these three Charlotte Tilbury cream shadows. I literally got three for like the price of one. So one is like 55 Australian dollars and I got three for 70. So, which I know is not exactly one, but you know what I mean. So I got Oyster Pearl, which is my fave. And then I got Rose Gold. And then I got uh, Champagne. You know, this is just for Champagne. Disregard. So they're all very pretty. They do crease on my eyes though. So I don't think that these are good, as good as all my other cream shadows. But if you set them with powder or something, they're really good. And then this is my absolute favorite. Like hands down actually. This is even over the Lisa Eldridge. This is the Hourglass Scattered Light in smoke and it's my favorite i think this is nearly my favorite shadow in my collection it is gorgeous it doesn't even look anything special here you have to see it in real life it's just amazing that is like my little cream eyeshadow collection i am doing this collection for a video i'm gonna do like my favorite cream shadow one and dones and stuff so um yeah i've been collecting a heap as you can see actually i have two more to add into here i have bought two Janessa Myricks ones. So I bought these ones from Janessa Myricks. I bought, I haven't even used this yet actually. What is this shade? Um, Iconic. So this is the shade Iconic. Hello? Hello? So that's iconic, typical me shade. And then I think this is nude three, which is way too light for me. <laughs> but anyway, could honestly nearly be a concealer. But I do like them. So yeah, so I'm still testing these ones out, but so far so good. So that is like my cream eyeshadow backup brows and backup mascaras. They can go in here for now and I have nothing else to put in here so I have like a full half drawer here. 
Down the bottom here is all of my hair stuff. So headbands, wig accessories. I have a lot of wig stuff, like this is all wig stuff and hot tools and stuff because obviously for my wigs, I need all this stuff. So that's the hair drawer. All right, shall we do eyeshadow? This is my eyeshadow palette drawer. Yep, it's not even all of them if I'm honest because I have this whole box here of like new makeup and this new makeup is literally new eyeshadow palettes. So yeah. Um, I need to pull all of this out though and put this little roll thing in so they stop sliding. So basically I'm just gonna speed through me pulling these all out and then reorganizing them back in. So let's do it. This is it all organized. Uh, I'm going to show you like from this side and then across. So I'll zoom in. You won't be able to see the whole thing. Um, I'm not pulling these out, you guys. I am not. <laughs> I just feel like I've janked these in. So these two right here is Luna Beauty Eternal Eclipse and the Luna Beauty Nude Prism. And then I have my Glaminatrix Nearly Neutrals, which I have, should have, maybe this is going to be, oh no, there we go. Uh, I should have a video on this beautiful palette right here already up on my channel. Then I have my entire Natasha Denona collection. So I have Leela, Trio Chrome, Bieber, Metropolis, which I have not touched yet. I cannot wait. I think tomorrow I'm going to be digging into this palette. Is that not amazing? I can't wait. Um, I have my mini gold which is amazing and i have my dream pastel retro glam bronze and love midis and my glam face palette so i think i've got them in the right order of release date um and then i've got the huda beauties that i own so i've got these in release date as well so empowered rose quartz naughty uh mercury retrograde the new nude and then these are the small ones which are not in order but jaguar and python palette i still can't get enough of this jaguar palette you guys still can't i have my two patrick tars one and two i have urban decay reloaded uh naked reloaded which i have not touched yet i know i'm an absolute joke i need to i will i've just had so i feel like all the new makeup came out at one time Naked Honey, Charlotte Tilbury Smoky Eyes, My Beloved Uoma or Oma Beauty, 
My two makeup by Mario's, NARS Climax Dior um, Early Bird from the Birds of a Feather collection, which I love. My two LH Cosmetics. Can you let me know down below if you are interested in an LH Cosmetics review, by the way, you guys? That's straight from Colourpop, my two Viseart palettes, my absolute fave, <laughs> absolute fave, is a mayor. Just can't get enough of it. My Pat McGrath Labs collection. This is my Pat McGrath Labs collection right here. So it starts at Mothership 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have all 10 Motherships. The two Bridgerton palettes, the two new like quince that she just released for Christmas. Uh, the flirtation, uh, no, Venus and Fleurs quad, this one, and then the two Celestial Odyssey and Celestial Nirvana. So, what am I gonna do as this grows? I don't know. Go into the spare drawers, I would assume. I imagine eventually I'll have a drawer that's like just Pat McGrath Labs and that's just um, probably Natasha Denona, but who knows. Uh, I'm going to see, maybe do vlog style for this back bit so you can see it. Apologies if the audio is a bit rough. I'm hoping you can still hear me, but the camera is facing this way. And if I turn it around, I'm like too close to the camera and it's just going to be me yelling at you. So, you know, here we are. Okay. So back here, I have a Z palette with some singles, the Tiny Marbles palette, the Glaminatrix U Beauty palette, my um, ABH Soft Glam V. Sigma Enchanted, two Melt Cosmetics, so Gemini 2 and Gemini 1, Kaleidos Club Nebula, Kaleidos Escape Pod, this is a uh, What's Up Beauty Monsoon, Colourpop Rudolph, three Kaleidos Quads and an M Cosmetics palette, the four Kaleidos, um, I think these, what are these called? The... Futurism palettes, which I am going to do a video on. I've been meaning to, again, just time. All of my Tom Ford. So this side over here is all the cream quads. So it's like Rose Topaz, Smoky Quartz, Tiger Eye, and the two new Violet Satine and Khaki. And then these are the powder ones. So Honeymoon, Metallic, oh, sorry, Metal Lust, Luster Lava, Nude Dip, and Coquette. So... I have a little bit of room to grow for Tom Ford quads at least. And then these are just kind of bigger palettes. So Lethal Cosmetics, which I have re-fallen. I have like fallen head over heels in love with Lethal Cosmetics, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Why won't this just focus? Then, um, stop focusing on my hand. Underneath the Lethal Cosmetics, which is at the top there, is Nabla, like the nude palette. What's it called? Nude Nude. Side by side. Then the Deuce or the, yeah, is it the Deuce by Juvia's or the Duce? Anyway. Wilderness palette from Beauty Bay, um, two ABH Norvana, Norvana, Norvenas. There's a Beauty Bay under there too, and that is the entire palette drawer. That's it. That's it for now. I'm gonna do like a nice beauty room tour. That's just the organization part. So I'm going to leave this here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts down below. Only if, you know, be kind. Some people can be mean about collection things. <laughs> um, but thank you so much if you're watching. If you're watching to this point, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel out so, so much and I appreciate it. I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.